Hey guys, I'm a verified educator at an academy and along with that I'm also teaching live at an academy plus to access my live classes you can take an academy plus subscription now an academy plus offers some interesting features apart from live classes which include detailed and complete explanation of a particular course then there you have problem a discussion for self-evaluation you can also watch recorded version of the class in case if you miss out any live session you have regular doubt clearing sessions for doubt clearing and to clarify all your problems you also get access to the whatsapp group to clear and discuss problem among the other plus students now if you have found these features interesting and want to join an academy plus i'll recommend you to use my referral code that is n underscore huda to get 10 percent discount on the subscription fee now that's all about an academy plus let's continue with our video all right so we'll talk about this question over here which was asked for two marks in csi june 2019 exam it was a very good question and it was asked that uh, the degree of polymerization that is given by n and the fraction of monomer consumed given by p for a polymerization reaction is related as so how these two things are related so uh, although if you have prepared for this polymer chemistry and you have studied this concept you might know the answer it's a very direct question but for those who are who, who are not that like those students who are who have not prepared for this topic or those who don't know the answer how to solve this up i'll try to explain in detail okay i'll try to go for the derivation and then i'll try to explain over there so allow me some five minutes i'll just explain in that time right although the correct answer for this will be option number a it's a direct very direct question once you will understand the concept uh, then you will be able to like then you will be able to analyze and you will be able to answer this question okay so the degree of polymerization the reaction is given to that is polymerization reaction that means the reaction they are given it's in some way that uh, a and b these are two polymeric units and they are polymerizing in this way that is alternate a and b bonds like a and b are polymerizing with each other forming a chain so that's what uh, they are doing and let's say that we have k units in this okay you, we have k units in this of a monomeric unit and they have they are forming this particular bond so i'll just try to explain this in detail uh, on pen and paper so let's do that all right so we'll consider that uh, we have a polymer of this step that is in which we have a and b uh, forming bonds alternatively like this and if small p or the capital p whatever the p in the quotient it's given as capital p so let's say p is the probability that b connects to a okay b is connecting to a and that's the uh, that is that's the probability of b connecting to a is given by p so if we have k units let's say if we have k units in this that means if we have k number of a and b atoms so there will be k minus one linkage how it is so let's say just you are just looking upon to two of the units then how many linkage you have just one linkage so 2 minus 1 is 1 if you have 3 units in that case how many linkage you have you just have 2 linkage right let's say you have 3 units uh, sorry 4 units a b a b so you have 4 units how many linkage you have just 3 un uh, linkage so whatever the value of uh, uh, the total number of unit is you are just having one less linkage in that so that's why if you have k unit the number of linkage will be k minus 1 linkage so the probability will be p to the power k minus 1 how it is so the probability of formation of one bond is p of two bond is p square of three bond is p cube because these all are dependent uh, probabilities so they all will depend on each other so overall probability will be product of them so p into p will be p square into p will be p cube into p will be p to the power 4 into p will be p to the power 5 and likewise so the number of linkage will be the p to the power right so we have k minus 1 linkage so the probability will be k p to the power k minus 1 now probability that b does not connect to a so that will be 1 minus p because p is the probability that b connects to a so the probability that it will not connect will be 1 minus p that's fine right 1 is the total probability so 1 minus p is the probability that it will not connect to a now total probability that molecule will have k minus 1 linkage and then it will terminate is given by so if it has k minus 1 linkage and then it is terminating that means now b is not connecting after this right so there is no connection after this linkage so it's it's just a fixed number of linkage you have taken number uh, you have taken k minus 1 linkage k units and after that your polymer is stopped you don't have any polymer overheads it just got disconnected 
so disconnected means the probability was 1 minus p so multiply that probability with the probability of formation of bond so since both of these things both these probabilities are dependent on each other that's why we multiplied so probability of k minus 1 linkage into probability of termination so that will give you total probability that the molecule will have k minus 1 linkage and then it will terminate so that's what you got the total probability till now now you again have one more formula for, for probability that the chain will have k units if the chain has k unit then the probability is gained by nk upon n where nk is what that is the number of chains having k units and n is the total number of chains so this is another formula to calculate probability so probability will be given by those chains which have k units divided by total number of chain because in this polymer you will be having lot of uh, polymeric chains some of them will have k units some of them will not have k units right so we are just considering those units uh, which have those polymers which have k units so that those are given by n k and n is the total number of chain so dividing them will give you total probability now you got two formula for total probability one is the one uh, which we got through the linkage one the other one is through the number of uh, the number of uh, the number of chains right so you can just equate both of them so while equating you will get this what i have done i have just written p to the power k minus 1 as p to the power k upon p right it's fine i have just written it like that now the average value of k k is the total number of linkage right how many linkage you are having so that was given by k in the question it is given by n right so that's nothing but k we have taken over here. so k average value of k will be given by this that is k is equals to 0 to infinite because you initially you will be having 0 uh, linkage so k is equals to 0 to infinite k and k upon n so that is the formula to calculate the average value of k this is the this is a direct formula okay now what i have done i have substituted the value of n k upon n so the value of n k upon n i have substituted from here so from here your 1 minus p that's a constant value so that can be taken outside p to the power k minus 1 will be written inside so k is already here and p to the power k minus 1 is written let it be equation number 1 and over here your k is from 0 to infinite now you all know this term this is mathematical term uh, if you are adding something like p p to the power k that means 1 plus p plus p square plus p q plus dash 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 p to the power k that means addition of numbers up to uh, uh, like a to the power n or p to the power n that you can do and the answer will be like 1 upon 1 minus p so this is the direct formula okay this is just the value of this whole addition series okay this is this is this is forming a geometrical series right yeah uh, geometrical uh, arithmetic progression just like you have studied arithmetic progression ap right and gp geometric progression so it's geometric progression so the value will be 1 upon 1 minus p now on differentiating uh, this particular equation if you differentiate this uh, what you will get uh, with respect to k if you differentiate so it will be k p to the power k minus 1 right so that's what you will get so k p to the power k minus 1 and it value on the right hand side if you differentiate so 1 upon 1 minus p will be 1 minus p to the power minus 2 now what i have done i have substituted the, its value in equation number 1 remember the equation number 1 what was the equation number 1 equation number 1 was like k is equals to 1 minus p and it was summation k is equals to 0 to infinite and it was k p to the power k minus 1 what i have done i have substituted its value from here okay so what i will get i will get this 1 minus p which was already here and 1 minus p to the power minus 2 can be written as uh, like 1 upon 1 minus p square this power and this power will be cancelled out you will get the value of k as 1 upon 1 minus p so that's what the average value of n will come out to be okay so the value of n in the quotient which is asked like here we have taken it as k but in the quotient it was asked in terms of n so n will be given by 1 upon 1 minus p so that will be your answer where your n is the number of linkage okay so n is what n is number of linkage or degree of polymerization degree of polymerization that how much polymerization has happened okay so degree of polymerization and p is what p is the uh, fraction of monomer consumed or the po uh, probability of uh, the the probability of formation of the polymer okay so that's what the p is so that's how you got this particular formula and your answer will be option number one
all right so we'll talk about this question now this was again asked for four marks in the same exam that is csi june 2019 exam the question says that the reaction rate of self catalyzed polyesterification reaction uh, is given as this this is the rate of the like rate law equation given to you if m naught is the initial concentration okay so m naught is the initial concentration of the hydroxyl and carboxyl uh, monomers then the degree of polymerization that is n is given by so we have already done this question c uh, in this question you will you, you will uh, you have to use that formula which you have done just now okay so we were having this formula that is n is equals to 1 upon 1 minus p right so this was the formula which we have used so let's see uh, like we'll try to impose this thing we'll try to use all these things to solve this particular question the things which are given to you is that this is the uh, this is the rate constant like rate law equation and with the help of rate law equation you can find out that the order of this reaction is equal to 3 because uh, like the coefficient or the power of these uh, the concentration of the substrates uh, give you the sum of the power of the concentration of substrate gives you the order so 2 plus 1 will give you 3 so the order of reaction is 3 that means this reaction is of third order so let's try to solve this up I'll just use my pen and paper to solve all right so as I mentioned you uh, just know that the reaction is of third order so for the third order reaction this is the uh, rate law equation uh, sorry this is the integral equation which we write down uh, the third order re uh, reaction rate is written in this particular form uh, so if m naught is the initial concentration and m is the final concentration then this equation will be converted into this that is 1 upon m square minus 1 upon m naught square is equals to 2 kt it's very simple right now when the time was t that is initial time in that case your m that is total concentration will be equal to uh, like that the final concentration will be equal to the initial concentration minus x where x is nothing the but the part of the initial concentration which has been converted into m okay so m naught minus x so the initial concentration will be reduced by the factor of x now what is x over here so x will be actually equal to the product of m naught into p where p is what p is the fraction of initial concentration of monomer which has underwent polymerization so p is the fraction of the monomer which underwent polymerization or p is also called as the probability uh, function uh, the probability function or like the one which we have used in the previous question in the previous solution we have used p right that was nk upon n so that was like the probability of uh, polymerization or it is the fraction of the initial concentration of monomer which has underwent uh, polymerization so the x will be equal to the initial concentration into the probability which has or the fraction which has underwent polymerization so just multiply both of both of them taking m not common you can get the relation between m and m not will be given by the this that is m is equals to m not in the bracket you have 1 minus p so this is one of the equation which you got now we'll put the value of m over here in this equation m not will stay like we'll keep that like that only 2kt is on the right hand side and this will be like this so since over here we were having m square so this will become like m not square 1 minus p square minus 1 upon m not square is equals to 2 kt take 1 upon 1 upon m not square as common from both of them so over here we'll get 1 upon 1 minus p whole square minus 1 because over here we we'll just get minus 1 common so that will be like minus 1 will be left out 2 kt will be on the right hand side multiply this m not square to the other side it will be 2 k m not square t on the left hand side you have 1 upon 1 minus p square minus 1 so this part will remain as it is that's what I have written now what you can do you can take this minus 1 to the other side this will become plus 1 so what you got on the left hand side uh, sorry on the right hand side you got 2k m naught square t plus 1 and on the right hand on the left hand side you have 1 upon 1 minus p square now you know we, you have done in the last question that is n is equals to 1 upon 1 minus p right so you have done n is equals to 1 upon 1 minus p you can just put the value of 1 upon p as n and that will be like n square so the value of n square will be equal to 2 m naught kt plus 1 so that's how you got the answer so this is what the required answer is if you look upon to the question uh, this particular one uh, was your option number d right sorry 2 m naught square kt plus 1 so this was your option number C okay so option C is your correct option 
right so that's how you have to do these two questions uh, from polymerization i hope uh, this video was helpful for you guys i hope you guys like this video and if you guys like this video do give it a like if you want to ask anything you can ask me in the comment section below if you are new to this channel do subscribe this channel and thank you so much for watching guys have a great day bye bye